Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to get started with a hosting provider, getting all the way to getting to the WordPress page so you can start building that website. Now, the first question you're probably gonna ask is which one to choose. I just recommend going with Bluehost. If, it's, if you're a beginner, it's very user-friendly, it can be cheaper, things like that. Whenever you get to a more advanced stage, you might wanna go with something like Cloudways. I'm gonna kind of walk through a little bit of the differences, a little bit of the ideas for now. In the future, I'm gonna have a video where we talk about Cloudways, but for now, just gonna walk you through how to get set up on Bluehost, pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, what you wanna do is you just go to bluehost.com. What I recommend is just going to pricing and plans right here so you can kind of see some of the differences. On the top, just select hosting. Online store is gonna be something else, but hosting is gonna give you a few different hosting plans to choose from. Now, you might think about going with the basic plan. I highly recommend against that one. Why? Well, because you only get one website and it's only about 15,000 visitors a month. And if you're gonna to choose to monetize a blog, then that's probably not gonna be super helpful for you. You probably wanna go closer to this 200,000. Now, now, why the choice plus versus that plus account? Well, as you can see up here, pretty similar on the prices. The differences between them is zero if you're gonna go with the 12 month plan. Um, but, and the visitors per month is gonna be about four times as many visitors. So recommend going with this choice plus. Now, why is it cheaper than this $20 per month right here? Well, this is gonna lock you into a full year. So this is 12 months. You can also choose 36 months. It's gonna be a little bit higher. Don't know why they do that, but for the 12 months, you can do that 545 a month. That's when you're probably gonna get a little bit more advanced and you might choose to go with Cloudways as opposed to renewing your contract here. We can talk about that later, but it's gonna be a lot harder to go from Cloudways to Bluehost because there's a little bit more of a fee, but to go from Bluehost to Cloudways, it's gonna be free, at least at this point. But to get started, what you're gonna do is gonna hit select with this choice plus. And you're gonna create your, a new domain or you're gonna use your own domain. I like to use my own domain, which I will get through Google domains, which is gonna be right here. And then I like to add it to my Bluehost account. Uh, that way I can keep them separate and then I can migrate that domain in between uh, Cloudways or between Bluehost if I have hosting services with both, then I can just redirect how things are going. And so that gives me a little bit more control and it's only $12 a year for that domain. In contrast, more domains, if you purchase them through Bluehost, through Cloudways, they can be a little bit more than just a dollar a month. So that's why I like to get them through Google domains. So I'm gonna show you that process on how to get that set up. But before we do, go back here, pick out any domain that you might want or you can say, I'll create my domain later, which is what I'm gonna do. Fill out your information on here. Whenever you scroll down, you just wanna make sure you have this 12 month at 545 per month. All this is good. Site lock security, you can choose to do these options. I would not recommend Yoast SEO plugin. I'm gonna show you how to use Rank Math in this course on how to blow, build a blog in a weekend. Um, wouldn't worry about the single domain SSL. That's gonna be different. Google provides a SSL as well. Um, site lock security, you can choose to do that if you're gonna have confidential information. Generally, you don't on a blog, but that's up to you on how you wanna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that for now. And then as you come down, you're going to just put in your information for your credit card, expiration date, et cetera, and then click submit. Now I'm gonna to go to the account that I already have, and I'm gonna show you how to add a domain from Google to Bluehost. Okay, so as soon as you get logged on, you're gonna go through a page that looks like this for the homepage. I'm gonna pause here on Bluehost. I'm gonna go to Google domains right here. I'm going to choose a domain that might be available to me. I've already checked on this one, just so you know, often it takes a little bit of guessing and checking. But this one, I'm just gonna do bigboostseo.com and I have an exact match. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And if you're following along on this build a blog post in a weekend, 
This is the domain that we're going to be working with throughout the rest of it. To purchase it, you're gonna to add to the cart right here. And you'll go through the cart and go ahead and uh, add all this stuff in. We're not gonna do any Google Workspace account. We're just gonna do $12. We're gonna go ahead and check out. You can go ahead and fill out your information here. I'm gonna fill it out, go on to the next page, and then we'll touch base. Then once you fill out that information, you're gonna to go to this page where it's gonna ask you to pay for a domain. Go ahead and add your credit card or debit card in and go ahead and buy it. Again, I'm gonna pause the video for now. We're gonna go on to the next page. Okay, awesome. Once you are able to go through that page, you're gonna have a page that looks like this. What you wanna do next is you wanna copy and paste that domain. Go over to your Bluehost portal over here. You'll go to domains, go to my go to assign then you're going to go to a domain that is not already associated with the account we're going to go ahead and put that in here and then it's going to give you some information that you need to do back on google so whenever it goes through it's going to try to verify it and it's going to realize that hey you don't have it yet so So then it's gonna load up this verify ownership option. So you wanna copy and paste this first one, ns1.bluehost.com, go back to the Google domain, go to DNS right here, then go to custom name servers. So you wanna paste that ns1.bluehost.com in this name server box under custom name servers from DNS. And make sure you do switch to these settings so that way it knows to look. After you copy and paste it, let's go ahead and go back to Bluehost and get that second one right here. Copy, go back, and put it in here, and then we're gonna hit save. After you hit save, we need to switch to the settings up here. Awesome, good to go. We're gonna come back, and right now it's not gonna recognize things right away. It's gonna take a second. So what you might wanna do is just go ahead and go back to this assign on the corner and then it's going to come in here again we want to copy and paste that uh, domain that we already have mine is blogboostseo.com here and then so now whenever it looks it should find it and say hey yeah now it's associated with that domain awesome there it is and then down here we want to make sure that we click add on domain this makes it look like a completely different website than one of the other ones that are already on your website and then we're gonna create a new directory here and then click assign this domain. Okay, so now that that is all loaded, we got that domain assigned. The next thing we need to do is set up the site with Bluehost. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna to go to my sites in this bar over here. And it's gonna give us a list of all the sites that we currently have available. Because we don't have that domain yet set up, we need to go down and click add site, create new site. And then I already have this saved somewhere else, so I'm gonna copy and paste, but you just need to click a site name and a site tagline. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so then we need to go into our directory and click our new URL that we're gonna have here. I'm not gonna put anything in the, direct, the directory right there. Uncheck these because we don't need any of those plugins. We're gonna go ahead and click next. Awesome, so once that gets set up, we just need to give it a little bit more information. I wanna go ahead and click blog just because that's what I'm making right now. And then whenever you get to this page, you just wanna make sure that your website is your HTTPS, colon slash slash and then your domain sometimes that gets messed up and you have to start over so just make sure that that's okay your admin your password make sure you have that too or so that you can copy paste it in later or you can change it as soon as you get in but we're going to go ahead and click log into wordpress now just for the purpose of this tutorial you can go in and edit things for this series where we're going to try to build a blog post in a weekend I don't recommend going in and editing any of the settings yet, anything like that. I'm gonna have another video on how to change the theme, 
edit some of the settings, et cetera, et cetera. But right now we just need to set up our user so that we can go ahead and use the tool to write the blog post. So what we need to do is go into users. I'm gonna create a new user for this sake. And this one, I'm just gonna do uh, test admin. And I'm gonna put in my email address. And then I'm not gonna leave any of this stuff in. I'm going to, I'll go ahead and use this password, that's fine. It's gonna all get deleted by the time you guys see this anyways. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the role to administrator and click add new user. Oh, I made a mistake, can't use the same email twice, so I'm gonna put in a new email, and then, I'm, so I'm gonna pause now, put in the new one and hit add new user, change it later. Okay, so now I created that new user, I'm gonna go ahead and edit that. And what I need to do is I need to go all the way down towards the bottom, there's gonna be this application passwords area. We, that's where we're gonna go ahead and use this blog tool, so I'm gonna put blogging tool, and then click add new application password. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this password right here. Again, this is gonna get deleted, so don't try to even access this later. And I'm gonna paste it into this password area right here. Now for the username, test admin, you guys have already seen that. And then that URL is gonna be that H https colon slash slash blogboostseo.com. Awesome, so that's that. This Google Drive folder, I went ahead and started setting this up. This, I'm gonna have a link below on how to get a folder ID, but this is gonna set up so that we know where to put images, if we're gonna use images and where we're gonna use this Google Drive folder ID for the Zimwriter articles that are gonna pull. I put in a blog niche and perspective for there. I would just recommend using Turbo at this point. And then generate articles automatically, something I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through the rest of the sheet later, but I would go ahead and click that and make sure you read the terms and conditions in order to get started. But now go ahead and set, you can go back to that your copy of this tool so that you can go ahead and upload your posts from the writer.